Good evening, fellows programmer. This is Pavel, and this is the conclusion of C sharp exercise 541 from the book uh, Visual C sharp 2012. Uh, encryption. Uh, we created our classes, we created our properties and methods, and now we can instantiate the object and actually do some, uh, you know, encryption and then decryption as well. So first, let's ask the user for some input. So we let's do console dot write. We will do enter a four digit integer to encrypt. And we will store that in, uh, I'll call it encrypt input. I'll, I'll store it as a string because for now I don't have to use, use it as an integer. I will pass it as an integer to our base class, but for now I just need a string as a user input. Now we, this whole exercise is designed to get four digit integer. If the user enters anything else, then the program will just crash. We only have a four digit integer in mind for this exercise. Again, I will be doing some more advanced uh, exercise for this particular exercise that accepts any uh, integer with any number of digits but in this case we are concentrating on uh, the doing the exercise uh, from the book as is and it asks for four digits so we will provide four digits so we have to check to make sure that the user indeed enters four digits uh, uh, integer that's why I still have it as a string because uh, I can now go and check whether the length of the string is four. If it is, we know we have four characters. Uh, we don't know if it's digits yet, but I'm not going to be checking for that, but at least I can check for the correct length to make sure that it is indeed four. And I'm keeping it as a string because if I kept it as an integer, if the user enters, let's say, zero, one, two, three, the leading zero would be stripped. It would be just one, two, three as an integer. But as a string, zero stays there, and I can pass it uh, uh, to our uh, constructors. So I want to keep uh, telling the user to enter the correct value until he or she actually enters the correct value. So I'm gonna do a while loop, and I will check for encrypt input, which is the user input. Actually, it is a string, so I don't need to uh, dot length not equal four. If so, if the user enter a wrong input, wrong uh, string that does not uh, have uh, four characters in it, I will tell him to re-enter it because it's a wrong input. So console dot right line. And I will do please enter four digit uh, number. And um, again, I will get the user input as a string console dot read line. And if it enters the wrong number again, it comes uh, to this while loop, checks for the length again, and if it's not four. It just keeps uh, looping and repeating please enter four digit number and waiting for user input until the user input is correct. Once the, uh, the user enters uh, four characters, it comes over here. The length now does equal four. So it will skip this and goes to the next line after that, after the while loop. So we know that by now the user entered four digits or four characters so we can now do uh, our uh, object instantiation so we will do uh, I'll just call it encrypt or enc for short I'll call it new encryption not encry not encrypt decrypt base we want the encryption and encryption inherits from our base class encrypt decrypt base so it will instantiate it automatically we don't have to instantiate in fact you shouldn't instantiate you should just instantiate this one 
and by inheritance this one is instantiated as well and it inspect expects uh, an integer so we will now convert to integer whatever the user entered which is stored in the encrypt input so now we are passing the actual integer not string anymore and we will perform all the calculation assign the digits and so forth so at the end we can do console dot right line and do something like the encrypted value of is and these are the placeholders for and the first value will be the uh, the encrypt input that the user entered that's the original number and one is the is the result so that is the uh, object and we will call the method the main method for the for this uh, particular class which is the encrypt input if we go to encryption this is what we are calling and within this class we go we call all the other methods and assigning the values to them to the uh, properties and uh, we will output it in this line so that's our encryption now we do the same with the decryption so uh, i will simply copy paste the whole block and we will do console.write enter four digit integer to decrypt and we will call this uh, decrypt input and we will do the same while loop that stays the same except we will assign the value back to our decrypt and um, of course our object will also be uh, I'll call it decrypt well, DECR for, for short and I'm going to not pass encrypt input but decrypt input and this is going to be the decrypted value and again we are calling the decrypt input and finally the decrypt object and at the end I will just do console dot read line to uh, pause the screen all right so let's let's try it out I guess so it built so let's try um, one two three four something simple so let me let me do it over here I have digits one two three and four now I add seven to each that's by the uh, exercise we are adding seven right here so it's going to be eight nine it's gonna be ten and it's going to be uh, 11 now do the mod getting the reminder after divide uh, uh, the new value by 10 so 8 mod 10 is still 8 9 mod 10 is 9 10 mod 10 is 0 there's no reminder and 11 mod 10 is 1 because that's uh, 1 is the reminder now we sw simply swap the first with the third, so it's gonna be zero and eight, and we will swap the fourth with the second, so it's gonna be to be one and nine, and that should be our encrypted value zero one eight nine. And what do you know? Zero one eight nine. So now if I type to decrypt zero one eight nine, I should get back one two three four. And I didn't so something's wrong so uh, let's debug and uh, if I scroll down I probably did something I forgot to change something most likely when I copy pasted it so I have the encryption and this is the 
decryption portion. So I know, so it says decrypt, reline, and of course this is while decrypt input length, then value, decrypt value. This is our object. Oh, except we are not calling the encrypt input, we are calling the decrypt input. Uh, do uh, something, what did I? Uh, in our decryption, decrypt input. That's what I'm, that's what I should be calling here. Uh, oh, I created a wrong object. I just created another encryption object. It's supposed to be decryption. Yeah, that's what happens when you copy paste. So let's try again. All right, so what we have one, two, three, four, and we get one zero eight nine. So one, I mean zero one eight nine, and do we? And we now we get one two three four. So that's correct. So let's try something with the leading zero. Let's say zero two four six, and let's again check it out. So we get a zero two four six. So when we add seven, we get seven, nine, eleven, and uh, what was it? Uh, we added seven, so thirteen, and uh, mod ten. So it's gonna be still seven. It's gonna be nine. This is gonna be one, and this is gonna be three. And we swap the numbers, so it's going to be one, three, seven, nine. So one, three, seven, nine should be the and it is 1379. So if I do 1379, I should get 0246 to decrypt it. And it is 0246. So I think we have a working uh, basic encryption and decryption formula. And I think this concludes the exercise. Again, if you want to watch a little more advanced uh, solution that shows how to. Uh, how to do it when um, without being restricted to four digit input uh, for we can do it for really any uh, input length or any number of digits so uh, I'm gonna do that next in the next video uh, but I'll do that separately this is because this is uh, really the solution for this particular exercise and that exercise will be a little more advanced it will have some uh, arrays and stuff that uh, if you follow in the book and you are on chapter 5, you did not go through a race yet, so it's not really for everyone, but uh, it still should be uh, something that you could strive for to make it more uh, universal rather than being restricted to, you know, the exercise uh, itself. Try to make it more advanced, you know, so that way you learn new things. But I hope you already learned something even from this uh, uh, little trilogy that, we, that I just made. And um, this is the solution to the exercise. If you liked it or learned something, just click the like. Don't forget to share with your friends uh, who you think may use this uh, solution. And um, stick around for the next videos. And uh, I'll see you then. Happy programming.